Good luck. Welcome back. This is week 195 of the teaching ladder. Each week we get to play a higher rated and a lower rated opponent and then get to review the game afterward. So it's fun, it's exciting. Hopefully, um, yeah, we can both learn and teach this week. Uh, it's not easy, though. So my opponent is selecting an opening that historically I've played quite a bit. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that settles out. Mm hmm. I think this is playable. Pretty sure and hopeful that it is. So if the opponent pushes the center pawn, we just continue castling as if nothing earth shattering had happened. At least that's my understanding of it. Hmm. Did I mess up? If I wanted to take advantage of this, I would have pushed the silver faster. Um. Yeah, if my silver were on the square, then this would not be possible. It's fine though. Um, my rook and bishop are still kind of pinned down. Let's get the rook open at least. Hmm. This is a defensive approach. Um, it leaves me a bit confused as to where I should put my pieces. Um, Okay, I'll get my king away from the center. Hmm. Interesting. I think I can get away with this. And if the rook shifts in front of the castle like I tend to do, then this pawn can oppose it. Hmm. 
So I think I'm supposed to just attack down file 3 here. Normally you don't hard commit to a single file because that could completely fail. But um, here the opponent has picked such a defensive posture that I don't know what else to do. Maybe the silver goes here and I exchange here instead? No, I can't break this file. Not with the rook there. Hmm. The meta has changed since the last time I was playing in a major way. I don't understand the meta now. On the bright side, if this gold does move this way, that's hanging. So the opponent's got some challenges to solve. Did I remember to fix the one? Yeah, okay. Uh, I apologize. I usually don't put the cat on for these. I take these games fairly seriously. Sorry about that. The cat could be fun, but uh, what's also fun is playing well. Not with that gimmick. Yeah, it's been a while, so let me play my best. Um, if I try to push this pawn, I don't see anything coming from it. Like, this rip prevents me from... Well... I could push it. I could advance this twice and then bring the silver over here and push this pawn. That would be a path forward. Um, Likewise, the opponent could push over here and try to connect with my castle. And I should be a lot more nervous about oh, Okay, then. That I did not expect. Not even remotely. Um... Interesting. I've not seen this style of game before. Um, if I bring the rook over... I don't want to have this drop. Mm. I was just trying to figure out, could I win this point? Not really. Well, silver going in front of the pawn is not going to help me in virtually any line. Um, so, but if I move the silver up now, then I can't hit this point easily. And they do get to build their castle. I think I should just commit to this. Like, yeah, there is a weakness on the bishop's head, but it only matters if it could be struck. Also, perhaps I should enunciate. So there is a weakness um, on the bishop's head. However, that weakness only matters if it can be struck. So, um, yeah, my mumbling probably comes across in recordings 
if I had to guess. Um, yeah, I think they can push this pawn to 3-5. Oh, wow. Okay, that's committal. That is committal. Um, if I move the rook over, if they push this, if I move the rook over, they could push that again. Hmm. If I move the rook here, this is for the purpose of getting the silver forward. Yeah, that could be interesting. I could move the rook here directly and just ask the gold to move away from the castle. That too could be interesting. Oh, but then my rook is a target. Whereas over here, the rook's not such an easy target. Um, now let's try this. So this doesn't make any instant, immediate threat. However, I can start attacking on this file, and I can start attacking on this square. So... This is flexible, but, yeah, it um, prevents peace. Well, I don't know if it prevents moving anything here. But, yeah, I don't want this side of the board advancing. And I do want to open this bishop diagonal again. So I want to put the silver here. Okay, that's pretty wild and brazen. Unless I'm thinking about this completely incorrectly. Um, is my rook trapped or something? I'm not seeing it. Silver, silver. I could just take here, though. I'm not seeing something here. May so I'm playing this on a weekday morning. Maybe that affects my temperament somehow, but... I'm wanting to see this tension resolve. That's an interesting castle you got there. <laughs> uh, if I push this pawn, they drop a pawn now. Uh, if I exchange here, the rook comes over. I'm not threatening to win material. Oh, this is interesting. If we exchange bishops, um, yeah, that's fun. The bishop drop here before they get the gold there could be interesting, but the gold's going here immediately. Hmm. All right, um, there's a proverb about not pushing this pawn, but it looks so powerful to push, which is probably why there's a proverb about it. Pawn, 
gold, rook, gold. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, if they just take my pawn. Well, no, I win a bishop. It's not a total win. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm too curious about this. I'm sorry. Probably the silver advances and many tactics ensue. What I'm looking at is I push this pawn, I move my rook over, and then there's a bishop drop here. Also, there might be a bishop drop here directly. Well, I didn't have to move my rook, did I? What's going on? Okay, if bishops exchange here, I have a bishop drop there. And then I can pick up a lance and a knight and, you know... But even if that doesn't happen, we've just taken the 5-5 five, five point in clear daylight. Which has to have some benefit. Because then I can push this and bring the silver through here. But also I'm threatening maybe to push this and take that. Oh. Okay. I see we're agreeing here on a course of action. I do not understand. Um, like, I have a different evaluation of this than my opponent does. Or they didn't see it. Um... I'm guessing the latter, but it could be the former that I think this is very much better for me on account of I can drop the rook here and cause mayhem. Um, but no, the rook there doesn't stir up that much trouble. Yeah, they can just defend this, and I'm not just instantly winning this here much as I wish I might be. <laughs> um, but no, even if they defend the rook, um, like the silver's great where it is. If the silver moves, holes start opening. Um, hmm. Yeah, my horse would not, a promoted bishop would not be useful here. Promoted bishop is useful on your side of the board, not on, not as an attacking piece. I could have just taken this pawn, um, but then they drop a pawn and I've lost the initiative.
Yeah, I expect that this is, since this looks so nice, that they take the time to defend here. I think this encounters a different problem, however. Um, There's also a proverb that if pieces are hanging, you'll not be lost looking for a move. And that rings very true here. I could take here. They drop the final pawn and I don't have a next move. They're threatening a bishop drop here to hit my vulnerable rook. I could anticipate that by moving the rook here. Oh, but then they drop here. Well, yeah, this rook belongs on this file. They can drop a pawn here. And then they could drop the final bishop here. But then the problem they run into is that their bishop gets... Well, it's not trapped. Trapped is a strong word for that. If I drop my rook deep in their camp... Um, I thought they had a way to counter it. I'm not so sure anymore. I drop here? No, it's not fatal. If I take the bishop, also not decisive. Hmm. Yeah, I think I should just take this. So slow. It'd be nice to find something better. All right, I th I'm optimistic about this somehow. Yes, I did just walk into a pin for whatever. I don't know why I did that. Oh. Um, no, I don't even gain a tempo doing it. Yeah, this is silly. This doesn't help me. I misread this in a, some really dumb way. I'm out of practice. So... Yeah, there goes my advantage if I had one. Um, well, if my rook can escape this attack, 
then this bishop's not well placed. No, my rook running is... Well, running this back could be funny. But it's probably easier just to take this, but I don't want to give them a rook. All right, we're going to try this. I keep reading and not finding anything. So we're going to try this. So... Lots of pieces are hanging. I could have dropped a bishop here, but I think that loses. Well, I don't know. This is more forceful, right? So they have to react that way. So I continue splitting up their castle. Um. And then I can defend my knight. Hmm. <sighs> So, my camp looked super vulnerable to drops, but I'm not sure that it is. Oh, further, I'm threatening a pawn drop here with a rook drop to follow, which maybe... Well, no. Then they just drop the pawn, and I take a piece, and it's so slow. But yeah, the silver hanging is of some concern, so I do this to force an exchange so I can bring the silver into the castle. Um, and then it's up to my opponent to find some clever move to make... <laughs> they can't finish their castle here, it's... Um, okay. Does this just lose a piece? No. Initially, it looks that way, maybe. Um, that's fine. I'm not sure the rook does anything here. It threatens to make threats, which is kind of cool, I guess. Oh, pawn drop here forces a silver retreat and nothing better um kore yori yo yomi ni hairimasu This looks very strong. So whether or not I win a pawn, we're going to open up this side of the board. Um, if I do win a pawn, great. If not, if I can force the silver to move, great, because then I've got a rook fork. 
And even if somehow I've miscalculated everything, we still have this pawn drop and rook drop and grab pieces. And then if we have another pawn in hand, can shake this up. But um, but yeah, currently I just want, I don't know. They can win a knight. The knight's not going to be able to defend all this. Oh, what I've not banked on is this bishop exchange, and then they take here. Well, no, I did. I was thinking I'd drop my rook here. So I'm threatening to promote. Thirty Yeah, pawns can be powerful. Rook drop, bishop drop. I did not spot until just now. Hmm. <sighs> Sanjudio Sanjudio I might have repaired the opponent's castle by accident. I don't know. Sanjudio
Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to maintain that somehow their positions, like, not fully coordinated, and that my loss of a knight's not such a big deal. Interesting. Surprising, even, I would think. Um, Maybe I'm just, like, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. I could have supported this, but then they would have blocked whatever support I offered, so... I think the way I approached it makes the most sense. Um... The silver walks away from the king, and I don't think I have a fatal blow here. It would be nice to have something, but I don't think I have anything. Well, no, bishop drop here is kind of nice, because they have to defend this point. The king can defend it, though, but can it? Can the king really defend that? Hmm. I... what? What's that? Does this do something? It threatens to threaten to threaten things. Um, but I don't think that's adequate here. I guess maybe I hang this silver in some variation. And that's okay. If they drop a lance here, they don't have a diagonal mover. But even if somehow they did, uh, and it could be dropped here, then I just have to take here to remove Sanjibyo. the lance instead. Or I can move this way. I don't need to even take the lance. They could be tripling up on this space. If they put the knight and the lance all targeting this. Okay, yeah, that's the plan. Um... Hmm.
50秒1 2 3アイムエンイディアアイムアスキングフォトラブル。プランツテイクス、ウェザーイプロモーツオーナーイズダンジェラス。グランテッド、アイリブ。バッドアイニートテスト t ッドアイニートテスト my own mortality here. It would be far safer for me to have like, done anything else. If they take here, I just run. Because taking back is death. <laughs> It's not smart. Yeah. Um. Well, if I run, they just take my silver. I lost a tempo.、Oh, I, I did something I did not mean to do. <laughs> This is disgusting. <laughs> I did something I did not mean to do.、Uh, at this point, I have to take it. Oh no. It's still not forced. I could run. No.、Uh, that's so sad. They all resolve to the same thing. I blew my castle. Because I'm. Excited, we'll say. This is so not a good idea. This is so preventable. That's the word. That said,、um, I'll be able to attack. So hopefully I can. No, I don't have enough. There was no reason for any of this. Bishop drop here might save my butt. Maybe here too. But yeah, giving the opponent a gold in the midst of all this is just like, why did I do that? The only way out here is forward. So forward we go. Mercifully, this seems to function. s 
30秒。So close though. 40秒。Like why did I test this? The thing I'm banking on all this is that a bishop drop of 5-3 here, or rather 5-7, protects against this gold drop in variations where the gold drop mates. Or even a bishop drop 3-9 would still save my bacon. So that just lets me focus on attacking and not having to figure out every possible defense. This looked... Am I missing something? Um... I guess the king tries to run away over here. I think I massively hallucinated here. Uh, it's no good. Let's pursue this to its end, however. Yeah, in shogi, this doesn't work the same way as in chess. Well, I could promote and then take this pawn, and then I'm subject to some exciting attack. Well, I could take this and take that even, actually. But the king runs into the corner. Um, hmm. <sighs> and run away. Running away might be adequate. Wait, check, takes, check, check. Yeah, okay. I think I've got this. What a cluster. What a cluster.
Thanks for the game. Whoa, that was an adventure. Both on the board and in one's heart. Um... Yeah, I didn't, I guess I didn't fully calculate that, and a lot could have happened there. So, um, following the game we get to review it, um, yeah, in fact, it's good that they get to guide the analysis. Um... Hmm. There's so much to account for. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if this attack should have worked or not, to be honest. Like, once I get the bishop on the board, fine, but uh, this is... I should not have... Like, that's not super wise on my part. <laughs> yeah, so if they'd taken this pawn, I would take drop here. Normally I would suggest starting to review from the beginning, but it's kind of silly to do so. When we had such a wild endgame, and we're going to be thinking about that for the entire review anyway. Um, so we'll start wherever we feel like starting. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how to stifle my attack. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, maybe this could have held. I'm not sure. It looks curious. Um, yeah, I don't see any trick. Maybe there is... No. I mean... I guess maybe there's this? Maybe there's this sort of thing and trying to line up... I don't know. Um... Yeah. So the rook in hand looks um yeah, there's a lot to consider. <laughs> uh I guess there's just so much going on. Um, nice. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So once they push the silver... I mean, I've played both sides of this position. I think they played it fine. I don't think the way they played it gains an advantage. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I don't know that I could recommend this. Um, so, yeah, this opening's a bit tricky. 
Sorry for my weird commentary, but, um, yeah, I'm not as curious as it is because I've played this opening frequently. I don't know the best way to play it. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, um, it's not a lineup I would prefer if I were in his position, but okay. Because I'm focused on trying to win a little bit. I'm just a bit embarrassed from previous losses. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh Um Um so um Yeah, I don't know about... Does anybody know? Can you play Silver Crown without the jewel piece in the crown? <laughs> like, that seems pretty... Yeah. So, I'd expected my opponent to, like, push over here. I don't know why I'm getting pop-up menus when I try to put arrows here, but yeah, 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 I don't know that they can really prevent my attack. Um. I've had that mentality, but, like, mm, I'm not sure it works out. Yeah. Yeah, if they were too tempy ahead here, then maybe they could play however they want to play. But in this situation, um, there's not a whole... <laughs> it's difficult to recommend something for them here, I think. Uh, it's something aggressive, that is. And advancing their castle to build that fun shape. Like, yeah, it's a shape, but it re exists for a reason. Um, after pawn 2-6, it was still playable. Yeah. Mm hmm So, yeah, my opponent forced me to find this rook move, and I found it, and now it's not super pleasant for them. Because I'm simultaneously threatening to attack up the left flank here, but also maybe even breaking the center open. Um, I just, like, this idea of spending more time to change the castle while the castle is starting to be attacked, it's exciting. Um, so, yeah, I guess there's this other notion of attacking from the castle, which is verboten, but... Um, like, you do that, your castle disintegrates, and p uh, opponent gets pieces. Here, this wasn't really an attack, but it didn't do them any favors either, unfortunately. And things are pretty wild when Gota can just play this. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. see though yeah my opponent suffered a lot this game and so they're um yeah uh it makes sense that they have a lot to say because uh yeah the it sucks being uh the on the receiving end of attacks for most of the game and then the one time things start to look like they're going in your favor um uh, some attack comes out of nowhere and sideswipes you yeah it's um mm, yeah so I wonder, is this playable? So that, that was my guess, is that I didn't think we were going to end up here. And since we did end up here, um, yeah, so, okay, this is a fair question. Why didn't I do this? Um, hmm. Did I see any tactics here, or did I, yeah, I just didn't care for this, because my rook's still exposed. Um... Hmm. I didn't give this enough thought. Um, I'm not sure how much thought enough thought is. Yeah, maybe I, maybe this would have been the far more solid way to conduct this position. Like, even though they're threatening Lance Drop 5-5 five five and it looks spooky. Um, maybe this is the right way to handle it. Um, well, let's try that then. Uh, oh, I thought I saw other tactics here. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure about that either. Um, hmm. yeah, it's complicated, isn't it? Isn't all of this very complicated? Um. Yeah, this this looks much safer than the path I took. Um, oops, there's my alarm clock. Um, so yeah, this. Oh, once I exchanged this. <laughs> um. Hmm. There might be other tactics here that I missed, too. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know that that's a thing. Oh, okay. They were... Hmm. Um, just like all of their pieces hanging. Like, I don't know about this. This seems pretty aspirational at best. <laughs> um, um, I don't think it could be disagreed that all of their pieces are loose here. <laughs> yeah. Desperate hope, I guess. I mean, what else could be said here? Like, they got a position where they got an attack that they, yeah, that they really wanted this attack. Um, yeah, I just, like, I don't know how to evaluate this anymore. Um, Yeah. It's not obvious where the initiative comes from here, but, well, other than all of the opponent's pieces being loose, and uh, the 4 7 square is available for me to drop something if I need to. Hmm. Um, yeah, I assume I just take, well, no, um, yeah, let's just take here, right? I think they, the thing that had most challenged my opponent's position in this game is that they just don't have a castle defending their king. So, not a lot can be done um, to try to uh, build a castle in retrospect. Um, hmm. I do wonder, that could be an idea here. Oh, right, I could dodge the attack. Uh, maybe. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to see if moving the gold... Yeah, there's weaknesses that arise if I start moving my pieces. I probably just, you know, just keep going. If I had to guess... So, if the opponent does something crazy, um, like here, if you take this, I take here, and then I've got a fork. Um, so, I'm not sure that that works out. Um... <laughs> yeah, if you have a castle, stuff like that doesn't happen as often. I guess they don't have to take the bishop, but um, maybe it makes sense. I don't know. Um, yeah, so this is problematic, too. <laughs> Um, hmm. 
Yeah, what a mess. Hmm. Uh, I probably do have to take this, don't I? That's so messy, isn't it? But it's fun. Mm hmm. What a mess. If I take two pieces, I don't have a mate, as best as I can tell. Um, yeah, but possibly the pawn drop might be just me, I don't know, being silly. Um, but, uh, yeah, this looks, um, challenging. It sucks seeing my attack disintegrate like that, but I think they're right. I guess that, this sort of thing, where they, uh... Yeah, somehow this castle just showed up. So, like, I don't know how that happened, but um, that seems to be the way to go. Because um, it shuts down my attack. I don't know how that happened again. It, like, maybe this pawn drop stopped things. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm guessing we'll have more future games where they, uh, well, um, yeah, we might have more future games if they continue to believe in this kind of exciting castle shape that defends against all the drops until suddenly it doesn't. It's great for ratings or whatever, but other than, you know, the uh, skill rating. Oh. Uh, they were considered trying to escape their king to the edge. Yeah, they mentioned... Oh, okay. Uh, they hadn't mentioned pushing the pawn. But that makes some sense. It just takes one more move than... <laughs> Mm. Uh, yeah, it's a cool idea. And, like, truthfully, at the end of the game, I didn't see that I had a mate until, like, both of us saw it. But was there some timing where they could have actually considered this? Um, hmm. I guess if they exchange bishops and then rook takes pawn promotes, that might give them space. I didn't think enough about that. I was so excited about my attacking prospects here. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with the concept. Um, actually, here, yeah, I wonder what I was going to do. I was half debating just dropping the rook now. Yeah, maybe. Uh... 
like maybe this I wasn't fully sold on this oh wow I guess that's possible I don't know like that's cool that the gold could advance but there's still holes in this position Um, I see, like, they are collecting my knight and or lance, but in the time it takes them to do that, hopefully I can build some initiative. Yeah, with pawn drop there and stuff. Um, uh, Yeah, I was trying to figure this out during the game, because it looks fairly complicated. Um. Hmm. Oh, well, this looks fun. I don't know if this... Uh, Okay, well, that's an idea. Uh, well, okay, let's try that. Gosh darn, I keep forgetting that they get a rook in hand. Um, so, yeah, they can actually defend this. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try throwing this in first. I wonder, can this be decisive? I hope it's winning, but I don't see how this works. Oh. Is it so simple? Oh, okay. Yeah. What a mess. Uh... Yeah, I I do emerge better here, if not much better. Um, hmm. um, well, actually, this is interesting in some way. Really. I would not have guessed this bishop drop. Um, but, no, it makes sense. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I guess I can't allow that, so I have to go here instead. Yeah. This seems playable. Um... It seems complicated. I can't help but feel that somewhere something less complicated could have happened. Or maybe this game is just really challenging. 
Um, right, so in this case, I got this fork. That's the trick that underlies this whole combination here. <laughs> So, yeah, since I've got that, yeah, um, if they could somehow pull a castle together, maybe they do live. Oh, right. Yeah, that does defend against this promotion square. Um, hmm... Yeah. I'm surprised, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. I would have thought that somehow I break through, but evidently I don't. Um... Yeah, so the whole entering king idea might actually be a thing. Um, and I was seriously considering that rook 4-7 drop during the game. Yeah, this... <laughs> This led to what happened in the game, um, where I accidentally won the game. So yay me. Um, interesting. Mm. <laughs> I mean, taking the bishop's one option, but... Um, it's... Yeah, it's the canonical option, because everyone would take it there. Um, I wonder if there might be something else here, too. Could I just do that? Um, like, I don't super need a lot of pieces to continue attacking here oh wow really i mean i guess the yeah i could surround the bishop so it makes sense to exchange it My, i shouldn't be so surprised um this is funny Um, normally in chess you just run the king down the board, but here we're going to run up the board because it looks safest that way. Um. <laughs> hmm. Well, I was saying it looks safest. I might be very mistaken again. This game seems to be full of illusions. Hmm. Well, okay. There is one other way out. Um, let's try this. Because defense is not going to get me too far. If I were to drop on the second row, they just drop a pawn here-ish. So uh, this threat, I think, makes sense. And if they drop a silver, I can run around it. I don't need to run up the board, even though it looks like that's what I was about to do. But uh, here, yeah, I can still escape through the edge file. Mm 
Yeah. So I just lucked into this. Like, yeah, the end of this game was pretty wild, and I shouldn't have tested fate like this. But, um, if I'm alive, I'm alive, so there's some merit to what I did. I just wouldn't recommend that to beginners or most players. Like, if you see mate, take the mate, but, um, I didn't see a checkmate until it showed up. So, I wouldn't recommend playing the way I played, but it worked out, so interesting. Yeah. I just misread Lance takes pawn and thought I had enough pieces covering everything, and I just very much do not. So, yeah, if you build a castle, um, your attacks will. Uh, probably be fastest. <laughs> yeah. Also, my castle just exploded. It's okay. It'll get better. Yeah. There's some players. I'm glad that um, I heard from the U.S. Shogi Championship. One of the players uh, heeded my advice of Hey, if you don't, yeah, if you don't know what to do, build a castle. Because you're probably going to need a castle. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Uh... Yeah. We'll see. Uh, some engine will point out that we both made some dumb mistakes, but it was fun. And hopefully we can learn something from it. The lesson I should be taking away is, like, read the opponent's attack. Even if it... Even if match circumstances are not on the ideal day at the ideal hour, still give it a good effort. Uh, I attempted. I did decently. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, sorry, I need to be right back.
All right, sorry for that delay. Um, cool. Yeah, sometimes life yeah, interferes with Shogi. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Oh, right, I forgot. Well, there's so much to consider. Um, hmm. So, uh, I guess, like, I don't know. I'm still going to push this anyway. Right? I mean, what else would I do? Oh, right. Uh huh. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, tactics evolve here, I suppose. I guess, I don't know, like, this pawn pushed through the center looks exciting. I didn't finish my castle. Um, Yeah, I probably need to actually first um, play that to keep to guard this point. I can't right click the corner square here, but you know what I'm pointing to. Uh, this thing. Yeah. Um, but then I can let this happen, I think. And I wonder here, no, well, let's just do that, right? I thought this was going to trap the rook. Uh, apparently it doesn't. Um, it's maybe still interesting, however. But, yeah, the opponent actually lives here. Uh. So, like, I'm not believing in this pawn exchange, um, yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember when exactly I heard this. Um, don't recall exactly when I heard this rumor or thought that, um, but, um, So, this notion of, like, 
we're going to push this pawn that we spent so much time getting to 5-5 five five in the first place and supporting it. Um, it's kind of nuts. Um, I guess the opponent's trapping my rook as I'm trapping theirs. But uh, I think this is exciting for me. Mm. Mm hmm. Let's see. Is there any profit here? Yeah, I don't think advancing this rook uh, I just take here, right? Oh, uh, well, okay, maybe it's not so trivial. Maybe. I don't know. I get to take a piece. I get to do an attack. But it's not decisive. Yeah, this is... Um, it's this pawn drop. I guess I just have to sidestep. It all looks exciting. Um, yeah, I just don't understand. Like, I've tried to make this work. I've not found a way to make it work. If there is some way to do this early pawn exchange with advantage, that's pretty cool. But I think normally you need to advance other things first for this to have any real prospect of doing damage. Um, hmm. There's a lot to think about here. Um... Yeah. There's a lot. There's probably some great move here somewhere. And I'm just not seeing it. Um. Yeah, pawn drop 5-5 five five looks interesting. Other than pawn drop 3-5, but... Um, it's probably still worth it in that event. Yeah, it's probably just this. Yeah. This, I just don't know about this. This seems like I've tried this before, never with success. That's not to say it can't work, but I just don't know how to make any success out of this kind of idea. Um. Mm. 
Yeah, I... It's hard to say. <laughs> I don't know, like... It's, it's hard for this rook by itself to conduct an attack, so, like, Gota's in the same boat here. But, um... Yeah, tactics are challenging to spot. It'd be cool if I could spot tactics, though, just... Um... Hmm... Some tactic might somehow resolve all of this. I'm just not seeing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this pin on the bishop is inconvenient. Um, oh, I wonder. Can I just move here? This seems tricky enough to do some damage. We've trapped the rook again. <laughs> but what else can the opponent do? Yeah, this is more or less what they have to do there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I still don't have some tactic to, like, completely put the win away, but... Um... Yeah, it's... Gota's got an initiative here. It's just a question of how big the initiative is. Um... No. Yeah. Yeah, so it's so messy. But we found some way that Senta maybe survives this opening while exchanging pawns and building this interesting shape. Um, yeah, this gold out here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Somehow, I'm the player ending up with my pawn on 5-5 five five in this opening. I don't understand it. Um, but, you know, maybe it's just a phase that all players who play this opening go through. Like, wanting this pawn advance to be decisive. Yeah. Right. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you can just, like, do this or this. Um, you're not going to get a perfect answer for this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I see wanting a perfect defense, but, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. That was pretty nice. We got such a flashy attack. Alright, so the challenge to the viewer is, in that endgame, did I have a forced mate? 
or did I have a, a win or did we just both cooperate to give us to give you the viewer some fireworks to admire mm. yeah Mm. Mm. Yeah, they they're wanting a perfect defense first and a perfect attack second. And I prioritized things the other way around and I got a bit lucky. I guess I did recommend this particular mode of defense, and it's not working out super well. Um, That's the key shape with a silver up and gold up. That's Kimono Mino. So it's playable, unless I'm missing something. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So, I don't know what more to say on that. Um, I got lucky. Um, but yeah. <laughs> How can we in the West know what they do? <sighs> yeah, so I'm not sure what else to say. We do have arrows. Aren't arrows exciting? But um, yeah, I my opponent uh, built this exciting attack and then probably over attacked. Um, yeah, it was fun. Uh, um. Yeah, I might normally go on and on and on with analysis, but um, here I actually have other commitments today, too. So it's fine. No rush. Um, it's just I'm not particularly motivated to keep searching when I know an engine's going to figure it out anyway. Uh, cool. So... I tend to end every video with some kind of conclusory remark about how the game went. Um, so let's figure out what that remark is here. My opponent played my favorite opening, or one of my favorites, the central file rook. They blocked the bishop. I've played silver to the right, silver to the left, and silver forward. They're all different. This silver blocking the bishop and floating rook I've not seen before. But my opponent swears by it, so maybe it's got some merit. Um, oh, okay, I see what he's talking about. About he, he wanted to float the rook, but also wanted to put the silver here. Why didn't he just do it directly? Um, that's a fair question. I'm not sure it would have made much of a difference other than this pawns would have been further advanced and complicated everything else. This pushing the castle pawn, I thought was a bit much. And yeah, this is the conclusion. Um, if the gold had been defending this bishop, we would have seen different fireworks. I probably still eventually would have pushed this. It just have taken me longer to prepare it. Um, 
I'm not sure what else I could have tried here. I was thinking bringing up the bishop, bringing up the knight. But, um, yeah, we got some fireworks. And then I played some really strange moves. I somehow still managed to win this, but I don't know that I played this as well as I could have. Like, I allowed this fork, but I guess this commits a bishop to the board. Um, I did this exchange. Where was it? My opponent had suggested, why didn't I just drop this here? I thought I saw something during the game. It must have been some illusion. Uh, I was concerned about this. Yeah. But it's probably fine. It's just complicated. I'd miss that, like, if they went here, I could take a gold and this threatens mate over here. So, um, yeah. So here I do have the initiative still, um, but I made things complicated and exciting. So hopefully we all enjoyed that. Yeah, and then we had this pawn moment where I could have defended this in so many different ways. Instead, um, I did this, which uh, was optimistic, but led to this wild variation where if I'm lucky, if I've read everything correctly, but if mostly if I'm lucky, this all mates. Uh, my opponent pointed out after the game that this is checkmate. And during the game, I was fretting that I misread this, but no, it's there. Um, and so then there's also this line, but this transposes. Um, then there's also like a line like this, I guess. Um, but it's all made everywhere. Actually, wait. Details matter, don't they? Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that does mate. Um, wait, wait a second. All right, this works. There we go. What a mess. So, I was lucky that all these lines somehow work out. Um, don't try to be lucky. Try to play well. If the king dodges to um, to this side, we just take the gold and mate that way. Uh, is king takes forced? Yes. Because the lines we've already seen. This lance drop looks super cool. Um, yeah, since I have a gold in hand, everything becomes a lot simpler. Was there a simpler checkmate here than what I did? Maybe. Um, like, I think normally you'd prefer to leave a little space and then be able to promote here or something. Um, well, it's fortunate that it all worked out. Oh, because I got a silver. Did that make a difference? What if they blocked with a different piece? Um, hmm. That I'd not pondered enough. Um, let's see, a knight. Does this still work? This might have been the thing that we were both seeking. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. All right, so night drop uh that's going to lead to some different outcome. Um I know I mentioned that that was the homework assignment for the spectators to figure out if this is all forced. Um I seem to have solved the homework assignment. That's sad. Oh no. 
Oh, no. Uh, we could theorize about openings all day, but um, that's pretty bad. So that means my lance drop is probably not correct. The other move I've been looking at here was this. Um, and... Uh, does this mate? Oh wait, if the king runs back, we drop a gold on the head to mate it. Oh. Actually, yeah, this is far more straightforward, so this is the way to go. Um, it's a variation A. Uh, king up, gold drop mate, right? Variation B. King up, you know, king over, gold drop mate. Alright, so that's variation B. Um, variation C. Is there something here? Oh, wow. Okay, so this is still adequate to the task. Um, I mean, otherwise you just promote the dragon and didn't do the same thing and capture the interposing piece, but this is just directly made. Uh, okay. So I think th what we need to conclude is I need to practice my mates because this is embarrassingly rusty like this should have been obvious and i missed it and i was super impressed by like the way it ended but also fearful that i messed up and i think i messed up i don't think that there is a mate if they interpose with the correct piece um i don't think here i have any mate anymore because i the king is escaping there's... I don't see any way to prevent its escape. Like, the best... No, a, a drop here wouldn't do anything. Um... <laughs> yeah. The best shot I can think of is just sack the lance back here and pray that they go back into this, but... Um... Yeah, if they have their wits about them, they escape. So, yeah, uh, it's exciting. This is why we review the games. Um, I apparently am mistaken in having suggested we start at the beginning, because the end was actually the most interesting part here. Although there was so much else to review, and I was curious about the rest of the game, but I should have been curious about this, because this is what actually affects the outcome. Um... But this is why you do actual Suma Shogi checkmate puzzles. Because problems in your own games will be complicated. You start with easier puzzles first and then work your way up to stuff like this. Um, so, yeah, what well, this should have been. And it's recommended that you play out the moves on an actual board or at least play them out when you're learning the correct thing to do. So we're going to play bishop drop. Um, king over. Rook drop. King takes. Gold drop. That was mate in five. I missed it. My opponent missed a defense, and crazy stuff happened. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.